incredibly um, exciting time of year for parents and for, and for kids who are going back to school. They're really excited about that start of that school year. And what we need to do to protect our kids is to protect each other, right? So first and foremost, the virus circulates in the community. So everything that we can do within the community to reduce the spread, that's where we start. So getting vaccinated, you know, taking simple measures to reduce your potential exposure to this virus. Self-testing is really helpful. Within schools, they've had a couple of years now to deal with COVID-19, and many schools have put into place provisions to try to prevent the spread. Distancing in schools, improving ventilation within the schools, as simple as opening windows, but some schools have, schools have also invested in, in, in improving ventilation, and we would recommend that in buildings where people live, where people work, where people study, and that includes in schools. Making sure that teachers are vaccinated, and in many countries, there is vaccine that is recommended for children um, and adolescents. So again, follow the national guidance for that and, and, and receive the vaccine. Hand hygiene remains important, not just for COVID, but for many other pathogens that circulate. So it's that do it all. You don't have to do everything all at the same time, but washing your hands, disinfecting your hands, wearing of a mask, informing your kids, talk to your kids. Talk to them about what the current risk is in the area that you live in and what they can do to be part of the solution. But we really do need kids in school um, for their education, um, for their security, for their development. In many countries, it's where children receive food and just sort of that mental nourishment that they need. So it's really important that kids get back to school.